What's good YouTube? Today is our lucky day because we've been blessed by the pack odds gods from 2K giving us a dark matter Zach Levine out of a free challenge pack which is unheard of you know I'm a no money spent guy so I play this mode casually to see which players have certain animations and certain combos and this is the first time I've pulled something out of this magnitude from a free challenge pack. So let's get into it. Today we're going to focus on Dark Matter Zach Levine, focusing on a key moves which we can use in order to maximize his attributes, particularly his strength, his shot creation ability, and his shooting ability. So it's going to focus on a few key moves that we can use to make Zach Levine our elite point guard in NBA 2K22 my team. And if you haven't already or you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate a sub. A thumbs up also helps the channel greatly as a small YouTuber. And if you have any questions on the specific moves that I'm going to show in this video, let me know in the comment section below. So let's get started by taking a look at what Zach Levine can give you at the shooting guard or point guard position. Currently, I'm running him as my point guard right next to Luca and Vince Carter. Elite shooting stats, great enough defender. Actually, I think he's a really good defender great athleticism and you already know about the finishing ability and it's complemented by the right hall of fame badges to complement all of those strengths he's got the, the the defensive badges that you might need but also all the shooting finishing and shot creating badges that you might need so this in my opinion is a well-rounded point guard for nba 2k22 my team and the first move that we'll use with Zach Levine is his elite spin jumper combined with his different dribble six. And this is all set up by your constant paint pressure, attacking the rim and finishing at the basket. This is the natural counter for when defenders start to cut you off. Set it up with different moving dribble six. And as your defender cuts you off towards the basket, finish with a spin jump shot to counter their de defense. And this spin jumper is really elite because of how defenses typically play Zach Levine and that's trying to defend his penetration and stop him from getting to the basket. Downhill, hyperdrive, all at the Hall of Fame level. Combined with Hall of Fame difficult shots, this will allow you to get this shot off with little to no contests most of the time if you set it up properly. It basically punishes aggressive defenders who try to stick to you too closely so you can shed contact by initiating the spin jumper at the right time. You can also use your defender's momentum against you if they're trying to if they're trying hard to recover or trying to cut you off. Next are Zach Levine's step back jumpers which are done by holding R2 and holding the right stick in any direction in which you want to launch into your step back jumper. As you can see here it's very quick and creates a lot of space so with the right shooting badges from Zach Levine this is very difficult to defend and can get you out of tight spots. I like to set up Zach Levine's step back jumpers by comboing him with his different manual size up combos. With Hall of Fame Quick Chain, Handles for Days, and Hall of Fame Quick Step, you can set up your different space creating step back jumpers when combined well with your SIG size ups. Again, it's all set up by lulling your defender to sleep with your slow and fast quick rhythm dribbles and then launching directly into a step back jumper that's very difficult to defend. So another potential combo is basically running the pullback or snatch back dribble, launching towards the same side and then combining that with a step back jumper that creates a lot of space. So you can see in this clip right here how effective this particular combo is. That pullback dribble uses my defender's momentum against him, I launch towards the same side and use that elite step back to create the space that I need. You want to lull your defender to sleep by using your different dribble combos, changing pace. Quick first step, launch directly into a step back. That is money and that is difficult to defend because of his speed, athleticism, and his ability to create his own shot and elite shooting attributes and Hall of Fame badges. So you might think Zach Levine's SIG size up combos are pretty basic and they are. But look at this combo right here, you can add some sauce by cancelling that hesitation move at the right time and combining that with a step back jumper we freezed him with a hesitation dribble and then initiate a pound dribble into a step back jumper to create that extra space and one thank you very much And the last move we want to use with Zach Levine are your moving escape dribble combos which are done by holding R2 and then tapping the right stick left or right towards your non-ball hand or down left or down right towards your non-ball hand. You want to use this on the move as your defender is trying to cut you off one way 
Use that escape dribble to create a lot of space. That tween escape dribble in particular creates a lot of space. You're able to stop your momentum after that tween dribble and you can launch directly into a jump shot. It usually, if you do it right, you will get a wide open shot every single time. So there you have it, Zach Levine in three moves. In my opinion, one of the elite offensive point guards in the game, but can also hold his own defensively. Can shot create, can shoot really well, and can attack the rim. And you can actually put him on defense and he, he'll, he'll hold his own. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My schedule is going to be a little bit tight over the next few months. So I hope to be able to um, produce a couple of videos maybe every week, every two weeks maybe. So um, let me know what you think of this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.